yeah. Here we go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the best webinar Travify has ever hosted. <laughs> We're going all inclusive. We're going all oh, yeah. inclusive, everyone. Just smell the sea, hear the ocean waves. Yes. Just picture you can, it. You can hear the bartender mixing uh -huh. up some drinks, you know, over Ooh. by the, the tiki bar. I like that. I like this visual aid right now. And it's pretty much like, um, it can be happier. It's five o'clock anyway. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yep. So, you know, yes. So everyone, great. everyone needs to close their eyes and just envision <laughs> just their feet on the end of their beach chair. The infinity pool is right in front of you. You can just hear the waves crashing. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this. So nice. A gentle breeze. Oh, so good. All right. <laughs> I All love right. everyone's like <laughs> Well okay. everyone's while everyone's joining in, uh -huh. post the next beach destination you wanna to go to Ooh. in the in the chat. I wanna see what we got here. Costa Rica, oh, yes. Kimberly. Bora Bora, I wanna go. Tahiti from Sheila. Oh, Ladonna's Bali. Ooh, Sardinia. Good call oh, on that one, oh. Gina. Okay, I'm in. I'll pack my oh. bags after this webinar. You got a new groove going on. I like this. I know. <laughs> Heck yeah for Spotify's Tropical Party Music Playlist. If anybody needs some inspiration later. <laughs> Jody Jody just said, I hate the beach. Jody, I'm so sorry. I don't know what, what happened, but there has to be a story there. Yeah, there. I hate sand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of like one of those things. I could see yep. that. <laughs> that is so good. All right. Well. I hate to be the, the spoiler of the fun, but I have not learned how to share sound and my screen at the same time. So unfortunately- Gotta shut the jams shut down. The jams <laughs> down. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna, I apologize. Okay, let me, yes, and I will take off my hat in a second. I just love this, I love this look. You, you know? need to just walk around downtown to get lunch yes. wearing that hat just to it's see what like, happens. Um, it's 16 degrees where I am at right now. And it's also with the wind chill. It's probably like negative 30. It's the uh, literal opposite brutal. of the, the beautiful trip you're about to build on the webinar right now. Yes, that is accurate. That is very accurate. Okay, I better, I better take this off. Okay, here we go. I'll, I'll put it on later. Don't worry, everybody. Yep. We'll, we'll get this back. <laughs> we'll get it back for the Q&A. We'll put the shades on, you know, all the good stuff there. <laughs> now, is that your hat or is that yeah. someone else? It's your hat. Where it did is. you get it from? Um, like DSW a couple years ago. Was Pretty, it one of those it was giveaway a hats? Or you no, it actually, I actually spent good hard earned cash on okay. it. <laughs> Even with the fuzzy little ball things on it? Even with the fuzzy ball. That's what yeah. really adds some jazz. Takes it to, to it. another level. It does. I know. I haven't taken it to a destination yet. I need to. <laughs> so it hasn't really been exposed yet to its correct elements. You need to break it out. I do. Well, I'll, I'll get on a trip with one of, uh, yep. you know, that is the party, Danielle said. Good Love call. That. Good call on that. <laughs> it really <Yep>. is. <laughs> the part, the party has begun because it has. Steezy broke out the hat. It is. Yes. It's, you know, party that, that is a party hat. So thank you everybody for allowing me to wear that this morning while it's so bitterly cold out. <laughs> well, I suppose, um, since we do only have an hour, I guess we should probably get started. Huh, Scott? We, we, we might this? as well jump in because yeah. <laughs> there is there is uh there we have a lot of people jumping on the webinar today. Oh man, there is. I can't look at this. I can't. This is too much pressure. I, I, I can't look and see. <laughs> well, this is a really and this this should tell you something. And I'm sure all of you already know that, you know, all inclusives are going crazy. They have been, you know, the past couple of years, because it's been an easy destination, especially here in North America and all over the world too. Um, it's been a hot, this hot spot to go for all inclusives. So if it's anything to tell you in the industry right now, it's booming because this webinar has been the a lot of people signing up so really excited and we're so excited also just to share you know these amazing proposal and itineraries for your all-inclusive trips with you here today and the great thing is is if you're already a Travify user you're still going to learn a lot on here hopefully you still learn some good stuff on here um, I mean I know you will because there's just so many tips that we're going to throw into the mix 
But if it's also your first time seeing Travify, this will also be really helpful to see, you know, everything that you can do with Travify, because there's a lot that you can do. So you'll see that. Um, but also, um, I forgot to mention, um, introduce ourselves. We just came in blazing, you know, just super, you, you, you know, need dancing. no introduction, <laughs> especially well, with that hat. That's true. That's true. You know, so they do the, yep. Steezy. I am Steezy when I have my hat on, you know, it's, it's great. It's my nickname. Um, but, uh, also known as Stephanie Grice. That's what I, my official name, um, on there, <laughs> but then we also have uh, Scott Rutz on here. So Scott, hey, hey. thank you for joining. Thanks for joining everyone. Yay. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. So it's great. Scott is um, part of the founding team at Travify. So he has a lot of insight, knowledge of Travify, and he can provide a lot of really great tips. So he's going to, uh, you know, we always like to say he's going to color commentate along the way and uh, share anything that I might be missing out. So it'll be awesome. But before though, we jump into everything, um, what our plan is for today is we are going to start off by building um uh, doing the workflow. We're going to start from the proposal quoting side. So if you call it quote proposal, it's the same thing. Uh, you're going to hear us refer to it as proposal. Uh, but I'm going to start in that workflow because I want to show you how you can do the entire work throw workflow using Travify. Um, but do keep in mind that the way that I create this as a proposal can also be used as the main way for, um, you know, a booked itinerary. So if it's finalized, you could create it the same way that I am in the proposal stage. So you'll see what I mean once we start building it together. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to then convert it into the itinerary. We're going to add lots of content, um, like tours, um, excursions, flights, adding a additional content, um, all of that good stuff. So you'll really get an idea of all the all-inclusive things that you need. You will show you how to do that. And then at the end, a little bonus is we're going to show you a couple uh, tricks on how to market these trips using Travify as well, because this is great. Obviously, you know, if you have your clients um, booking, but you can also create trips and market them. Um, so we're just going to spend just a little bit of time showing you how to do that as well. And then um, a Q&A. So for the Q&A, um, feel free whenever you think of something, um, use that questions box. So there's the Q&A section. And um, if you could use that, that'd be really helpful. That way it's easier for us to gather those questions once it's time to go over them. Um, so feel free to put those in there. Um, also, this webinar is being recorded as well. So I know a few people have asked about that, but it is being recorded and we'll put it on our YouTube channel um, by the end of the day. Probably just give us a couple hours and um, we'll get that up there so you can watch it again. Um, and watch us dance at the beginning because I got that part recorded. Um, <laughs> that's that's worth just putting on repeat before oh, you go to bed. Sure. Just yeah. feel feel at peace with the world. Exactly. That's exactly the idea of what we wanted to do. <laughs> it's a two for one special here. Um, and uh, and then the other thing I want to mention, and I'll say this again at the end, is our support is 100% here for you. So everything we go over here today, if it feels like it's too much, or if you feel like you want more in a certain area that we don't talk about, um, hit up our support team. So you can email us at professional at travify.com. You can chat us in your account. You can also go to um, Travify.com slash support, book one on one trainings, demos. We can get one on one with you um, and walk through things. So feel free to utilize that. So don't forget that that support center is there for you and you can talk to us, um, you know, after this webinar if there is something that you want to um, go further in depth on um, after this webinar. So keep that in mind. Um, but one last thing that I want to do before I jump into my account is I always like to do just a quick high level minute of what Travify does, because I know that there's a lot of you on here who um, either you don't know everything that Travify does or you're brand new to the platform. Um, so just to quickly highlight, um, we have so itineraries and proposals. That's kind of our bread and butter. That is the bread and butter, I would say. And that's what we're really going to focus on here today as well, um, is that you can build your beautifully branded itineraries and proposals um, in Travify and share those with your clients. We have the mobile app. Um, you can get PDF, all that good stuff. The other thing that we've released in the past couple of years is a simple CRM tool. Um, so we call this contacts and it's um, in your account. So that way you can keep client contact information all in one place in Travify and you can keep their details. You can include um, documents like passport, vaccination cards. I mean, you can really keep all of that, all of those details in a very organized and simple place. So that's, what's really great about it. 
Um, the other thing is we have forms. So we have forms as well. So that way, if you need to collect any type of information, like new traveler inquiry form, um, credit card authorization we have as well, um, you can create a form for that and collect those responses um, from your clients. Now, the CC auth, the credit card authorization, is a really big one, um, which is great. We added that about a year ago now, maybe a little longer. And, um, and it's really, it's secure PCI compliant. So amazing. A lot of users have been using that um, over, over the time. Um, and then the final thing is websites and uh, landing page, which I'm actually going to talk about at the end. I'm going to show you that um, because you can use that to market your trips. So even if you already have a website, you can still use this tool. And I'm going to show you how at the end. So stay tuned for that. It's one of my favorite things. So it's really, really cool. But okay. With all that, and one last thing actually to mention is all of these uh, tools that you see, all these different features, these are all part of um, Travify's subscription plan. So when you have an account, you have access to all these and it's there's you don't pay anything additional. Um, so that's what's really great. So if you have an account, you already have all of this um, as well too. But all right, I'm gonna take a sip of water here because we're going, we're diving in. Gotta hydrate before you Gotta hydrate. Hit, hit the beach digitally. Yes. Yes, we're diving in to the deep end of the infinity pool. I'm gonna just gonna make everything all inclusive. -y. Uh, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do first? So here we are in the Travify account. So this is where we're gonna spend the majority of the hour is in here um, building a trip um, together, and then you're gonna see how everything flows together. Now, the first thing that I mentioned that I wanted to do is start with a proposal because I want to start from the very beginning of a workflow. Now, keep in mind, again, you don't have to start in this way, but you'll see as I'm creating things how you could still use this for a finalized itinerary as well. But when you're ready to create a new trip, you just click the new trip button in the top left-hand corner here and choose itinerary or proposal. Now, to quickly explain the difference between the two, um, it... Honestly, it really doesn't matter which one you choose to start off with because in the builder, it looks the same. So it's going to look the exact same in the builder. The difference is how it looks for your clients. So if you see this trip right here, this Hawaii vacation, this propo it says proposal. So there's a little badge here that says proposal. If I preview this really quick, you'll see that it says approve at the top. So it actually gives your clients the ability to go through this approve workflow, which we're going to go through um, here at the end as well. But that's really the difference. And then when you have a normal, just a plain, just an itinerary, um, you'll have the option at the top for them to get the app or PDF. Um, so that's really the big difference. And the good thing too is if you ever accidentally choose the wrong one, you can always switch the type. So if you click on a trip, you can switch the type back and forth between itinerary or proposal. So that's why I mentioned if you click the wrong one, you start building it, you can always switch it. So that's the nice, that's the beauty of that. Um, but I am going to start off with a proposal. So I'm going to do new trip and proposal here. And here's my builder. So this is what we say when we say the trip builder in here. This is where all the magic happens, where we can start adding all of our information in here. But before I start adding information, I do just want to get the basics. Um, so for example, this cover photo. We want this cover photo to reflect where they're going, you know, what the destination is. So I can just click change cover photo here. And then in here, I can upload my own photo if I wanted, um, but we do have a free stock photo database. So I like to use these for my uh, cover photos because they're all really, um, they're going to look good. Um, pretty much they're all high quality. Again, free stock photos. Um, and you can type in anything like Mexico Beach or Cancun or um, Tahiti, Fiji, um, all of those places. So you can just type it in um, and then select an image. And I'm just going to select this picture right here click save changes. And now that image has changed and it updates to reflect, you know, where the client's actually traveling to. The next thing that I want to do is give it a title. Um, so I can name this trip by going into my settings. So if I click settings at the top here, this is where I can go ahead and put in uh, the trip name. So I'm just going to say Smith family, all inclusive. Um, and then I'm going to leave this trip start date blank and you're going to see why in about 30 seconds, but, um, so I'm going to leave that blank, but if you do know the date, you can, you can choose that right there. 
Um, I also am going to add the price. So I could add um, here, you could do anything you want. If you want to do per person total, you could even do 5,000 to 6,000, or you can write anything you want in that field. Um, but this pricing is going to appear at the top of this trip. So you don't have to put pricing in here, but it's a great option if this is a proposal. Um, and then as well as this description area also appears at the top of the trip. So if you want to put like a little message from you, like here's um, the resorts that I recommend, or maybe it's a pricing breakdown, or if you add an additional day, it's this cost. Um, so definitely use that description place um, to add anything additional that you need for them to see at the very top of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and say save changes. And here we go. So now we have just blank days. Um, so we just have day one here, but I'm going to do something a little special. So I'm going to do something different. Now for you, uh, you on here that might already have Travify, um, this might blow your mind that you can do this if you didn't know, um, but you can actually change day titles. And since I don't have a date selected, when I put this day title name in, it's just going to say that name. And so I'm going to use these as segments for my proposal. Now, here's what I mean by this. That might be kind of confusing, but when you see this, it'll make a lot of sense. So I'm going to click uh, this pencil icon next to day one, and I'm going to give it a day title of resort options. Now, what I'm going to do in this day is I'm going to add a couple different resort options. And so I'm going to do that in here. But before I get going into that, I also want to add another section. This section I want to add for tour options. So this is the, the day or section, if you will, that I'm going to add all of the tour and excursion options I'm going to provide for them. And the last one that I'm going to do, the last section I'm creating here is I am going to do travel and transportation. And this is where I'm going to keep all of my, um, all the information that has to do with the travel and transportation in this section for um, my clients here. So it's really cool. It keeps it organized in a different way. Um, so that's what's really cool about that. And, and, and you can do this with, again, you could do this with any trip. So even if it is fully booked, you could still build it out this way. But I like building it out this way um, for proposals just to break things up and make it really look organized. Um, the other thing that you could do, a little hot tip for you here, um, is that you could have this set up so you don't have to recreate this every time you're building um, a proposal for an all-inclusive um, vacation. You could keep create what we call just templates. So you could create this trip like this trip I just did and then just click copy. And then that way it'll copy this entire thing all the time. Um, yeah, so that's another thing. I, I see someone's like, oh my God, mind blown. I know it's so awesome. It's so cool that you could just do that. And again, definitely you don't do make this into a template if you're going to use this again, because it's just really nice. And you just put all the information in that you need. So that's what we're going to do now is we're going to put this information in. So the first thing, which is probably the most used is the resort or the hotel. So I'm going to add two options for my pretend client here today. Um, so I'm in this resort options day here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to first, I'm going to add a place manually so you can see that. Um, and then I'm going to use what we call the library. So stay tuned. You will, we will get into the library um, right after I show you, but I want to manually add this because I want to show you how you can add so much stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click new event and then choose lodging because that's what type of event this is. Now you could go ahead and just type in the name of the place you're looking for. And this just searches our database. Um, we have millions of places all over the world. That's just going to grab quick, um, you know, information for you. Like it'll add a photo, maybe the website, the address, um, all of that. So it just gives you, you know, the information really quickly. So you can see here that it just added, um, this, you know, this, this hotel or this resort in here. But now I want to edit it because if I just sent this, why would this, how would this sell, you know, to the client? So I'm going to add some, um, some pizzazz to this event here. So I'm just going to click this pencil icon to edit. And then I'm going to come in here. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change in the title. I'm going to put option number one. Um, because currently it said check-in, which that wouldn't really make sense for this. So I just changed it to option number one. Um, and then 
you could add um, notes. So in this note section, you can add information about this place. Now, this is your opportunity to share your expertise. Like, you know, if you want to add something like great late night entertainment or fun activities available for your kids or families and share why you're providing this option and why you think this client would want to go to this resort. Um, so this is a really great place to add those comments if you want to, you know, provide more information. Or you could do, you know, what I did where I'm just copying and pasting um, from the supplier's website. Um, so I just, you know, threw in uh, just quick blurb about the place, you know, what to expect there, um, all of that. But in this note section, you can do tons of different formatting. Um, so you could add links in here if you wanted to add links anywhere. You could highlight text, bold text, you know, create um, a numbered list or bold list. There's so much you can do in that note section. So really utilize that space. But another thing you can do in here is add pricing in a really organized manner using tables. Um, so with adding pricing to this, you could use this form field right here. So you can see there's a pricing form field. But one trick that I'm going to show you is to add a table so that way you can add different room type options. Um, so for example, let's say I want to add two different um, room type options for them. So I'm going to create right up at the top here where it says insert table. I'm going to click that um, and then I want to add, uh, I'm going to add three uh, columns here and I'm just going to type in the first one is beach view suite. The second one will be a swim up suite. And then you could put, you know, if you want to put info here about the, um, you know, the different options, what it's like, what they're getting in that. Um, and then what I can do is just put pricing below it. So then see how easy this is? It just breaks it down for them. And then you could also do more like bold this, you know, highlight. I mean, you can make this look really great and really just call out what you want them to see um, in there. But look at that. And again, that's all customizable. So you can make that table as large as you want, um, add as many columns as you need, more options. It's really great for that um, specifically, especially for groups. If you have groups too, you can always use that table to kind of um, organize the different options and um, people's rooms that way too. Now, the next thing I want to do, um, which is my personal favorite, is adding the photos and videos because this information is great, but what's really going to sell it are those photos and a video, which yes, you can add videos in Travify too. It's super cool. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So first you want to go to the multimedia section. So you click in here so you can always add up to five photos or videos per event. Um, now you can see I again have access to our free stock photo database. So you can use that if you want. You can upload your own. So if you do have your own photos, put those in here. But here's where it gets really cool. I can also pull from their website. So I grabbed their website link and I just went ahead and copy and pasted it in. Click get images. Look what happens. Travify is going to, right? I know. Yes, with the sound effects, we need them. It yep. is crazy. It's so Apologies awesome. for the interruption. No, I love it. Keep them coming. <laughs> but then what you can do is you can just select any photos you want from that, that we were able to pull. So I'm just going to, you know, select a couple. Um, I'm just going to take four because I want to leave room for, um, you know, my video, of course. So let's just do that one. And I have my images chose. And then I'm going to say, save changes. There they are. Look at that. So awesome. Um, and then if you ever want to add a video, how you do it is same way. You just click on um, the multimedia section, but then you want to click the video option. So make sure you click that one. And then you could just copy and paste the share link for the YouTube or Vimeo. Um, usually those are the ones that we see the most is YouTube and Vimeo. So you could put your own in here. I've seen people do that where if they actually visit this location, they'll put it, they can put it on their YouTube channel and then just copy and paste it in here and click add video. And now it's added. And really great thing about it too, is that when they view this video and they're looking at the trip, the video will stay in the same screen as a trip. So it's not going to like take them out of, you know, the itinerary, which is really great. So really awesome there. 
Very cool. And there are a couple of questions coming in, Stephanie, that Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to touch on in terms of copyright and permission to use photos or videos. And so specifically with the website URL import, um, Travify, we've built a tool that makes it faster and more efficient for you to import those photos. We still encourage you to use your discretion of what photos you're importing and make sure that you're importing it from a website that you have permission to use that for. So reach out to your BDMs and check to make sure what photos you have access to that you have permission to use. Now, uh, every now and then I do see an advisor that mentions, oh, Google Images works well. The only thing we really caution you about that is that you need to know where those images are coming from because Google is just aggregating and pulling those together. Specifically, if they're coming from proprietary websites, a TripAdvisor, an Expedia, things like that, they own those photos and they really don't want you using them. So just be careful, be cautious in that regard. Travify does not manage copyrights or digital um, dig- digital rights with those photos that you import. So we still encourage you to use your discretion. Now on the videos with YouTube, um, the nice thing with that is uh, we encourage you to actually follow any of your suppliers for their official channels, um, as well as uh, destinations, DMOs, tourism boards, because they put out lots and lots of great videos. Um, As they upload those videos, they are uh, giving permission for YouTube or Vimeo to redistribute that video via embedding in that, that they're saying, I'm the owner of this content and this can be uh, embedded or displayed in other parts of the internet. So you're good to go with those videos on there. So just an FYI with, with that. Yeah, those are yeah great tips. Thank you for sharing that, Scott, there. Yeah, so adding those photos and videos, I saw someone uh, say to you, I didn't know you could do that with the videos. <gasps> I know, it's so awesome. It's really cool. And as Scott mentioned too, like with your, uh, you know, the, especially working with your BDMs, they want you to share that stuff and they have great things to share. Um, you know, and usually on YouTube, a lot of these um, resorts and stuff, they'll have videos and all that good stuff. So yeah, so look at what that we just created here. So that did not take me long. I just really copy and pasted a lot. I put in some of my own info, but I pulled this up really quick. Now, here's where I want to uh, bring in one of the greatest features of all time, the library. Um, It is such, it is, users who use a library are just like, it just helps save so much time for them. So what the library is, is it's it's over here on my right-hand side, if you see me scroll through it. And this is essentially a database of information that I have saved to reuse over and over again. So if you haven't added anything to your library yet, it'll be blank. So it's all customized to what you will need. So you can always save information in here. And then when you're building a new proposal or itinerary, just search for what you need and drag and drop it right in that simple. So this um, Barcelo Grand Faro that I just created right here, um, if I wanted to save this so that way I don't have to go look for photos and videos again, I can just click this pencil icon like I'm editing. And then right down at the bottom where you see that done editing, there's this little uh, three dots here and then you can say copy to library. And when I click copy to library, um, I can give it a label. So that's a way you can keep it organized. And then when I save it, now it is this entire thing is saved. So anytime I'm building a new one, I can just come over here, look for it and pull it right in. And you can edit it if you need, and it won't, you know, change what's in the library saved. So then that way you can um, bring it in and then add things like the pricing or add any additional info you need for that particular trip. Simple. So, so simple. And to show you an example of this in action, the second resort option I'm going to add in here, I'm pulling from my library. So I've already saved this. um, So I want to pull in the Secrets Vine Cancun Resort. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start searching. um, See how it already pops up. So I'm going to choose Secrets Vine Cancun Resort. And here's what I've previously saved. So I just basically have, you know, a blurb about it and some photos. Um, Then if I need to go in and add pricing, I'm just going to edit it. And then I can just use this pricing field here and then just quickly add the price, say done editing. And there we have it. It's done. So as you can see, really easy, really easy to do. Huge time saver. So I want to give a little bit of encouragement for any advisors that have not really, uh, 
jumped into the library very deep yet, or you've kind of put it off, you only save a couple things. This is one of the biggest time savers and one of the common denominators of success that I see with travel advisors when they're using Travify, that it's what really turns on the magic. That if you start saving the 10, 20, 30 resorts that you work with very, very frequently, save those in the library, customize it, add in your own tips, your own recommendations, curate the photos, the videos that you want to add in. It's super powerful. But then also think about upsells. And Stephanie's going to walk through some of this of how you can start to save some of the things that you add to itineraries or proposals all of the time. Save them in your library. Now, there is one question in there, and this is going to be a little hat tip for what's coming in the future. Someone just asked, is there is there a way that we can share stuff out via library or a common place where we can share things out? Just you wait. Yeah. There's more to come on that. So I'm going to leave a little bit oh, of man. suspense. I was like, I might need of, to put my glasses on for this one. A little anticipation. The, the future is really bright, Scott, on the library. So. Oh, yeah. The product phone. team's just <laughs> firing up some bits and, yes. and working on some good stuff for you guys. So that's coming out soon. Just wait for that. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. I know. I saw that, too. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, yes, just wait. It'll be coming soon, too. So we'll just leave you on that. Um <laughs> Uh, but so as Scott mentioned too, those upsells, so those upsells are really great. You know, if, if they don't see an option for a tour, how are they going to know that they can book it with you? And then in return, you, you can get a little commission, a little kickback on that. So it's really important, you know, to add those tour options in here. So I'm going to show you how um, to add these. So I'm going to jump into my other day segment, my tour options one here. So that way, again, we can keep this really organized. Um, and I'm going to add a tour manually. So once again, so you can see the workflow of how to add that manually. And so I'm just going to start by just clicking the new event button. And then I'm going to choose activity. So I'm going to choose the activity button. And then what I'm going to do is I am just going to go ahead and drop in the title, which this is going to be for a private catamaran charter. Um, I'm going to pull in some notes. So again, you can put in any information you need or add a link in here. Um, and then you can also add more details. So if you want to put, you know, who the provider is, um, you can also add like the time and duration, because that's important to know, um, you know, how long is this going to be? Let's just say it's going to be six hours, um, all that good stuff. And then you can, of course, put the pricing in here as well. So you can add that. Um, and then we want to add some photos because again, the photos is what really is just, it takes it to the next level and it's so easy to do. Um, so again, I'm just going to pull from their website. So I'm just going to drop in the website of cancunsailing.com. Just found that one online here. Um, and I can choose, I'm going to choose uh, some photos here. So I'm going to choose up to five because again, you can add five. So I'm definitely going to utilize that. So I'm going to put, let's see, there's just so many options. Okay, we'll do that one. Um, and then I'm just going to say save changes. And there we have our photos. Um, so there we have it. I mean, that's all I, that's all you have to do. It's so easy. It's, it doesn't require too much, you know, or you can put more if you need. Um, you can also, of course, add documents. So if you do have um, any other documents you want to put in here, you could do that too. Um, but it makes it really easy. And then again, um, what I could do is I could save this to my library. So once again, you know, if I'm ever going to, um, you know, offer this to someone else in the future, just save it. And then that way it's already there. So the second option that I have for them is already saved from my library. Cause once again, I want to show you how easy this is. So I'm just going to type in Oceanside, um, massage, and that is the, the second tour option that I want to give them or excursion if it would or and here it is. So I have all this information. And again, if you need to edit it, you can do that, change any information without changing what's already in the library. You can do that. So there you have it. I mean, I just added two. So really easy again, just to add those options in there. Um, now the next thing, oh, actually there was a pro tip. I forgot that I want to share a little, a little tip with you on this. So when using the library, you heard me mention labels earlier and you can, every item that you save to the library, um, you can add a label to it. So that way it makes it easier to find things in the future. So for example, I'm building this trip and focusing on, um, let's say I'm focusing on Cancun. So what I could do is I could start, um, seeing what I have already in my, um, you know, in these uh, 
labels that I've saved. So then that way, see how it starts telling me breaking down like, oh, here's your options for Cancun. So then it, it's kind of like your own database that you're looking through and just seeing, you know, is there anything I can offer that my clients would like? And then it's just an easy way to find stuff. So that's also a really great um, tip there too. Now, the final thing that we want to add here is um, our travel and trans transportation transfers, things like that, um, adding a little area in there as well. So I'm going to jump into the travel and transportation. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, my transfer information from my library because I've already saved that um, because that's that is a good example of something that you can save. Keep it really generic. Um, so check this out. I have let me show you what I have. I'm just going to put, um, I think I have, yeah, the private transfer one that I want um, and see how it's just really simple. It, there's not much to it because, you know, I just need to give some basic information. But then, of course, if there is more that you needed to add, you could. But I'm just letting them know that, hey, this is part of this pricing that I've already given you. Um, so you could put that information in there. But if you need to build this manually, you could just click new event and then choose grand, ground transport and then just um, start to build it. Um, so it's really easy, really quick. Um, and then the last thing is those flights as well. Um, so flights can be, uh, you, you want to do those a little bit differently because sometimes maybe you have a couple flight options you want to give them. So the way that I recommend doing that is by clicking the new event and choosing the flight option. But for those of you who already use Travify, you know that when you look up flights, um, which we're actually going to do here in a little bit. But when you look them up, you do have to specify a date. Well, I don't want to specify a date because I don't want to mess up my segments that I have. So I'm just going to say add flights manually. That way I can kind of move around having to put a date in. And in this area, I'm just going to put um, flight info in the title. And then I'm going to utilize the notes section to put those flight details in. So what you could do is you could put flight details and do like a bulleted list or something and put, you know, here's the departure, the arrival. Um, and then you could put multiple options in here. But that way it just breaks it down in one event instead of having, you know, all these different events about different flights. It'll be a lot more easy visually for your clients to understand, you know, what those options are in there. Um, so hopefully that helps um, for that tip there. Um, but the last thing that I want to add here, and so we added basically all the nice thing or the things that you usually will have to add. But now here's where I'm going to blow your mind again, um, where we have we have destination content built into Travify that you can quickly pull in and it adds so much to a proposal and itinerary as well um, that it's just, it's it's crazy not to add it, if, especially when you're adding a proposal. It's an easy way to just add tons of value into this proposal. Um, now, let me show you how this works. So this destination content we refer to as city guides. So you can find those over on the right-hand side where your library is and click city guides at the top now, what you'll do, um, we have over 640 destinations worldwide that you can pick from, um, but I'm going to I'm going to keep on this Cancun one. So I'm going to choose I'm going to start typing it in and you'll see in the drop down Cancun appears. Now, I'm going to drag and drop this into this information documents area. So this is a special um, little section of all of your itineraries or proposals. It's always available in there um, where you can add any information that doesn't pertain to a specific day, um, you know, like. Uh, trip insurance or cancellation policy, COVID information, things like that. Um, but I'm going to add my city guide in here because I just want to keep it out of the way. Um, and I'm adding the entire guide. So you don't have to add the entire guide. You can see how these sections are split out in the bottom and you can pick and choose sections. So I could pick and choose just the city. I can add the top 10, do and see, but look at all of this content. All of this comes in here and it's so much information. And especially for a proposal, I mean, it really can show them what they can do at this destination. And then the great thing is, is you can customize this as well. So if there's something that you don't want to have or a section you don't want or add your own, you could definitely do that too. And the, the city guides are super powerful. Uh, when you think about the different types of trips that you might book for any given client, whether it's a complex, like 14 day river cruise or FIT or something where they're going to multiple destinations and you want to add in lots of great content in there or just, you know, quick city overviews, things like that. But also think about the very simple trips, the repeat clients that you have um, that you want to add another layer of professionalism and quality, even when it's a simple trip of like a flight in a hotel, you can easily and quickly add in city guides to add in city overviews 
recommended restaurants, points of interest, things that the client will really appreciate and like, especially when it's a destination um, that they're not familiar with. But it's a really fantastic, fast, easy way to immediately increase the quality of the proposals you're, you're firing out to clients. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's it's so awesome. And again, different des destinations. And another thing is if you ever want to build your own city guide, um, like if you have your own, you're knowledgeable about a certain destination, you want to build your own, you can always do that as well by just clicking new information item or new event. Um, and then there's also there's a subcategory of city guide. So you could just create your own and then just save it to your library. And then you just can pull them in directly from your library. So it's very similar to the same way, but then it's just all of your own content. Um, so that's an option as well, if you ever want to do that. But with all of that, though, ladies and gentlemen, we have built a proposal. <laughs> so Woo! yeah, we did it. So now what happens next? So let's say, okay, we want to send this to our client. We, we want to hopefully they approve it. And then we turn it into the actual itinerary. So Here's how we do this. Well, first you can send it. You got to send it to them. They have to see it. Um, so you'll, you can just click the send button here. You can just email it directly through Travify. You could get the trip link as well. So it's just a link. So if I click the preview button here, you'll see what I mean. You can see up at the top where um, there's that link right there, the Travify.com. Um, if it's domain masked, which mine is, you can do that. So that's a topic for maybe Q&A, um, but you can domain mask um, your your trips in, or your account as well. So that way it looks like it's coming from your email or your, sorry, your URL link. Um, and then what they can do is they can view this on any device, you know, mobile, tablet, computer, and here's what they would see. You know, they can, again, they can view that video right in here in the screen, view these photos, um, you know, all of that good stuff. Look at how awesome this is. So it's really great. And again, they can just view this anywhere. The other nice thing that's actually a pretty new feature is they can also chat with you. So your clients, if they have questions, um, you know, during this proposal stage, which they probably will, then they can also chat with you. So they can chat with you directly in here and ask you questions, um, you know, all of that good stuff. So that's what's really cool about this. Um, but let's say that I'm the client and I'm like, heck yeah, I want to plan this. I'm choosing it. I'm approving it. Um, so I am going to click approve a pro proposal at the top. And then what you they'll do is they will put their name in here. So I'm just going to put uh, Stephanie. Um, I'm just going to make up a little email here. And then I'm going to say approve. And now what happens when I approve this is I am going to get an email to me as the client um, with a PDF copy of what I approved and just um, letting me know that I have that now that I know that I approved it. And then on the other end, the, the agent, so you will get an email letting you know that they approved it. And when you go into your account, you will then see that that little um, thing there just says approved. Instead of proposal, it's now approved. And then right here, you can see underneath with that little paperclip icon there, that is um, the PDF copy of what they approved. So you can always go back to that. That's what's so great about it is you always have a PDF copy to make sure, see, well, this, this is what was approved. Um, so you can always see that. So then that way you can go in here and start editing everything in here and making this the itinerary. So that way you don't have to send them, you know, cr create something new and send them a new link. It all stays in one place. Um, so you can actually see here uh, at the top, it says approved. And when I refresh my page, now I have the option to get the app in PDF. So it's, it happens instantly. Um, so that's what's really cool about this. But now to show you, um, once the clients approved it, what I want to do now is switch this into the itinerary. So I want to add flights, I want to remove the options they didn't choose, and then add those dates in. So you're, I'm going to show you how we do this. It's super easy and quick. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to give it a date. So I'm going to go in my settings. And I'm going to give it a trip start date. So we're going to say it starts on uh, May 1st here. And I'm just going to save those changes. And now you can see that we now have these dates. So now I can remove the date or the day titles, those sections, because now that's no, that's no longer relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly remove them just by clicking that pencil icon, remove out, click done. So really easy, super quick and simple. Um, I'm also going to add a couple days here because it's actually going to end on May 5th. So I have those dates now. And I'm going to go up to our first day and I'm going to remove the option they didn't choose. So let's say that they chose um, the vine. 
uh, the secrets one. So I'm going to just remove this. So to delete the event, I'm just going to click, uh, go into edit it, click this little button and then choose delete. Um, so really, really simple. And then of course you can also remove the pricing and then you can start putting like maybe the, uh, the room information in there instead and add all of that. Um, the other thing though, that we didn't have before is that I want to add those flights in. So to add the flights, I'm just going to click new event, choose flight. And now it looks different from what we had before, because now we have a date in here. So I could just search for the flight by putting in the airline and the flight number and watch this, get info. Here's the flight I want. I'm going to add it to my itinerary. And voila, look at that. How cool is that? We have our flight. How easy. It's so simple. And then, of course, if you need to go in and add, you know, seat assignments, confirmation number, you can go in and do that. Um, but the other great thing about this is you might notice there's this little green check mark next to the flight. And that means that we're receiving updates. So if there's a flight change, you, uh, you and your clients are going to get notified um, in this app or in the mobile app, you'll get notified. But also in here, you'll see that in real time change and update as well. Uh, so that's what's really great about that. I'm then going to add uh, those uh, departure flights at the last day. So I'm just going to add flights one more time here. Um, so I'm going to do this flight going from Cancun to JFK, add those in. There we go. We have that information. Now, I also want to add that private transfer. It's sitting in Tuesday because of our section. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over to this day. So that's what makes it great is you can just drag and drop this information all over. And let's say they booked both of these, but the Oceanside Massage is the last day. So it's Wednesday. So we're going to put that in there. Um, and then I also want to quickly delete this one. So just one more to delete. And then this trip is good to go, um, except for actually one more thing. This is my OCD. I need to rearrange these. Um, so I'm just going to click rearrange here and um, you can just easily uh, change these events around. So I'm just going to put them in the correct order and see how easy I'm doing this. So that's so easy. That's the great thing is Travify has this drag and drop. So you just go moving it around and it's done. And our trip, our itinerary is ready to go. So really, really quick. Um, and now what this looks like for them, if we click preview, um, you'll see again, they can get the app PDF at the top. Um, and it looks very similar to what it did before, but now it's just more um, solidified. So we have those flights, we have those dates, um, all those options in here. And what's beautiful about this, guys? Uh, and gals um, within <laughs> here is with this proposal, it's mobile friendly. So a mm -hmm. couple of really, really important things here that I want everyone to know, whether you're a travel advisor veteran or you're brand new to the industry. It's mobile friendly. When they click and load this proposal, they do not have to download an app. You're not sending them to uh, another tour operator's website or something like that that's putting their branding all over. It has your branding. You can even incorporate your own website link into the domain masking. So everything is branded to you, looks super professional. And because it's mobile friendly, 90% of the time these days, when they open this up the very first time, they're going to be on their smartphone, not on a computer. So it's critical that you are sending something that is mobile friendly. A lot of suppliers send those... PDF documents, Word documents. And so then the client is doing this on their phone, just trying to swipe yeah. and zoom and find everything on it. This is such a much, much better way to present things. Even incorporating photos and videos, you're not sending them off to another website. You're keeping them right on their documentation. I want to share a quick story and then I'm going to uh, turn it back to Stephanie. I was chatting with a travel advisor uh, not long ago, Elizabeth, and she shared with me a fascinating story. She was, she was tracking her conversion rate on her quotes before she started using Travify and after she started using Travify. Before she started using Travify for her quotes, she was converting about one of every three quotes. So 33% conversion rate. After she started using Travify in her sales process to build quotes and proposals, present documents through Travify, she doubled her conversion rate. She now was converting two of every three quotes she was sending out. That's not an uncommon story for us to hear from uh, advisors out there that start using Travify that they immediately see a lift, an increase in their conversion rate, and actually a faster 
time frame to convert clients on the quotes because the sales materials they're sending are so compelling, so powerful. It gets the client excited about the trip and talking about it. They're going to your proposal to look at information. They're not going off to another website. So it's a really, really important, powerful way to present things to clients that can have a huge impact on your business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that story, we hear that a lot too, that they, their conversions just just spiked, you know, just uh, got so much better using it. But because look at this, you know, all the ways that you can um, view that and you can see. So when I made my screen smaller, this is kind of what it would look like in very similar. See how everything still fits. It all scales to fit in there. Um, so that's the beauty of that. And then the other thing is that mobile app as well. Um, when they get into that mobile app, um, it's called trip plans and they get into that app, uh, just by clicking the app button at the top. And that'll take them to the app store on their phone, uh, to download the trip plans app. Um, and then it'll automatically sync their trip so they can go and view it. Um, and it's very easy, really intuitive. Um, they can click into the day, scroll through, again, see those photos, videos, um, all of that good stuff directly in there um, as well. So. And a quick quick note on the app, a few advisors asked, hey, do you, does Travify have anything to help clients understand how to use the app, how to download it, or just explain it in general? I just posted in the chat, we actually, we hear your feedback. And so we've been building some content and some information to help your clients know how to download the app, how to use it, why they should use it, et cetera. And so I just posted in the chat, I'll post it again here. Um, we just launched a page for this. Stephanie's got it. She's right on the game. You're oh, always yeah, on your game. Um, yeah. But we just launched this. You'll notice in here a few important things. We wanted to uh, help clients understand the value of the mobile app, why they should use it, and also how to actually get it and install it on their phone and access their itinerary. You'll also notice we're not shoving the Travify brand in front of your clients. That's not our goal with this. Our goal is to help elevate your brands and help your clients know how to use this valuable service, the mobile app. So I just shared that. Uh, you're, you're free and welcome to share that with clients. We've purposefully not put Travify things or content or information on that page so that you can include it in your own documents, you know, your, your important no before you go types of things that you share with clients, but feel free to use that. Yeah, this is going to be a game changer because it it literally they can just click and they'll know it'll show you everything um, that you have in there. So, yeah, definitely utilize that web page. And great job, Scott, for creating that because he's been working <laughs> hard on that. So it's really awesome. It's, it's going to be really helpful as, um, you know, a lot of travelers start getting back out there um, and downloading uh, their trips on the app. Yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll also be adding a how-to video. So if you want just a quick video to send clients, uh, that'll be added to that page here shortly as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll be really nice having the actual video if they want to watch it that way too. Um, now the last thing that I want to do, um, I know we're running out of time. I knew that this would probably go cause we, we would just be having way too much fun, too, um, much fun. too much fun all the time, all the time, but plus, one plus thing, our margaritas are coming soon. So we've got yeah, to, I got to make those. sure to get, yeah, yeah my, my, gua <laughs> my guacamole and chips and stuff. Yep. I got to make sure I'm ready for those. So no, <laughs> a hard stop. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> so one thing that I wanted to show, um, I'm not going to spend as much time on it, uh, but one thing to put some feelers out and we do have videos about this. So you can learn more about it. Um, but the website, so when you want to market these trips, so even though we went through today with a client in mind, if you're ever putting together like um, a package or you're really trying to push a certain resort or whatever it might be, you can always create um, a trip, create an itinerary with all the information with it, like kind of like we did with the proposal. Um, and then you can either share that, you can share that link, um, you know, on social media if you want, um, or send it anywhere you need. Um, but you also have access to the website and landing page builder that's already in your account. And it's really great because again, even if you already have a website, it's okay. You can still use this as landing pages. And um, to show you an example, because again, apologies, I don't have enough time to really walk through on this. Um, but 
in here, it's all drag and drop. So we have different elements so you can create your own landing page and make it look however you want it to look. And you can create multiple pages. So you can see, um, like I one time created um, a landing page that's just promoting um, a river cruise. So it's just one river cruise that it's promoting. And I have this link that I can share out and, and someone can go there and just get all the information about this one thing I'm promoting. And then I can add things like the trip that we that I created and then that way it goes to the Travify trip. Um, I mentioned forms at the very beginning. You can also um, import any forms that you created into your uh, website or landing page. So that way, if they're interested, they can go ahead and um, you know click that, sign up, you get notified, get their information. I mean, it's just amazing. And so this one that I started working on, the all-inclusive one, is for like a spring break in mind. Um, and then you can, again, you can go and go ahead and then import that trip that you created. Um, it's just really cool. And again, I know that that's a very high level overview of it. Um, so if you go to our support center, um, we do have videos on how to do that. And in fact, um, Scott and I did a webinar just a few weeks ago last month um, on uh, landing page builders. So literally just the anatomy of how to build out a landing page for marketing purposes. So definitely check that out on our YouTube page if you're interested in learning more about that. Um, but okay, I know we just have a few minutes left here, but uh, let's get some questions. Let's see here. I, I know there are quite a bit here. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the ones here. Uh, Nancy said for templates, after you copy, how do you paste it into a template folder? Um, so um, one thing, so with the templates, so there's really no need for, um, or well, let me, let me back up here. So when you create a template, you're just creating a trip, just like a normal trip. And then um, you're putting in information that you always want to be able to copy and have it in there. And then that trip will always live in your trips list here. Um, and so then that way, when you click on the trip that you want or the, the template you need, you just click on it and click copy. Now, one thing you could do, you mentioned the folder. Um, so we don't have folders per se, but we do have what's called a status. Um, and you can see I created on the left-hand side down here, I have templates, but I manually created that. Um, and so this is a way that you could organize all of your trips in here. Um, if you wanna organize and buy, here's proposals, these are the ones confirmed, paid, and then here are my templates. And how you put them in that status is you just wanna click on the trip and then on the right hand side status and then put it in a status and then that way it just keeps it organized. So hopefully that kind of answers that question um, for you there. Oh, um, okay, wait. So I know I saw some questions about the library, but we did start talking about that. Um, but Lisa asked, if your company has Travify, will all employee users go into the same shared library? Is it possible to have your own? So if you have Travify and you're on a team, so if you are in a team, um, you will be able to share everything in the library. So if one, if your colleague creates something, then you'll have access to it as well. Um, so the one thing that you could do is if you do kind of want your own library, um, you'll still share it with everybody. But one thing you could do is utilize the labels. So then you can add a label to everything you create with maybe your name on it. And then that way, when you go into the library while, while you're in a trip, just get the label first of your name. And then that way you'll see all of your items and you can keep searching as you normally would. So good idea and there. I will jump in and take a couple questions yeah, that I saw coming yeah. in while you're looking at them. Uh -huh. uh, so lots of really fantastic questions around when you're sending a proposal off and if you've uh, added in lots of different options to that, how do you know what the client is selecting? Well, I'll walk you through a couple quick different options with that, but also know, and this is a theme you'll hear with Travify, we're never done. We're always going to be adding new enhancements, new updates based on your feedback. If you've been around with Travify for very long, you'll notice that happens very frequently. We listen to feedback and we start building new enhancements based off of that. But in context of proposals and itineraries and gaining feedback, gaining selections, things like that, but especially in the context of proposals, I want to show you one thing. Go ahead, uh, Stephanie, just click preview on one of those uh, trips. Any one of them is fine. Okay. Yep. And what you'll notice, there's a little guy, a little chat bubble hanging out over on the right side there. We've added this in a few months ago, but what we did is we added in web chat to your proposals so that a client can talk to you, leave comments, 
also communicate selections on that. Um, this is important for a few reasons because a lot of times, sometimes clients just have questions and versus spreading those out over Facebook, uh, chat messaging, uh, or sorry, uh, instant messaging or text messaging, emails, things like that. Now you can have it flow together with the document. So this can be a really uh, great feature. Um, and so uh, your client can just tap on that. They can type a message. Uh, it will prompt them to create a free account for that. So that way you know who's chatting with you and they can be notified when you respond to them. But this is a really great way to stay in touch. Now, the other option that you have is with forms. So with Travify, you can create forms. And what I would suggest is to create a standard kind of template booking form or proposal approval form that you have the standard fields or form, uh, form information that you want to uh, collect from that client of name, email address, et cetera. But then uh, have an open text field that they can input some of the selections or any of the questions that they have on that. So when they approve it, they can also fill out the form, list that as instructions in the settings area uh, under the trip description. So it's right up at the front of the trip and you can include the, the shareable link to that form in there and tell clients, please fill out this form once you've approved uh, your proposal and then you can follow up. So you can really build that process however you want, but not to say we won't add in more functionality in the future that better assists with uh, gaining selections from clients. Yeah. So that's, what's really cool. That form is really awesome because you could just grab again, when you create a form in there, there'll be that link that you can take. So you can just grab that link and then you can just put it um, right in here if you wanted um, in that description that Scott was mentioning. And here's what it looks like. So if we preview that, um, you can see right up here at the top, I, I didn't link anything, but that's where it would be linked. So you can see it really calls out their attention um, at the top there. So that's a great point there. Um, another question here that Christy had was sometimes my clients verbally approve the proposal over the phone. Can I manually switch the proposal to an itinerary? And the answer is yes. So you can do two things and this is up to you and whatever you and your clients decide. Um, but one thing you could do is you could approve it for them. So I know people have done that before. You could just put in their name and email and that way your client still receives that email verification of that they approved the form. Um, or if you just want to skip that part altogether, you could just click the type and just change it to itinerary. So you could do that too. Um, so either one that you choose, but remember that that type option is there that you can switch back and forth. Um, so that's a great thing there too. And I'll jump in on another mm -hmm. question while, uh, while you're looking for questions. Uh, so, so I saw a few questions come in on what happens if you're looking for a city guide that does not exist in Travify's database. Super simple, super easy. Obviously, we do have over 640 destinations in that city guide library, and that covers about 50,000 points of interest, and that's worldwide. Uh, so it's not just you know US and Canada or North America, it's worldwide. Having said that, even with that much content, we're, we still have certain destinations or very bespoke destinations that we don't have covered in that library. It's an easy fix. You can create your own custom city guides and save them to your library. Now, in our getting started guide in our support center, uh, you'll see a city guide uh, uh, video in that getting started guide, and we'll actually cover how to create custom city guides. It's super simple, super easy, and you can actually create those and then save them to your library for future use. So if you ever have a certain destination or cruise port that you work with frequently and you want a city guide for it, you can create those really easily by creating custom city guides. Yeah, and definitely check out that Getting Started Guide. It's so helpful. And they're all uh, short videos um, in there as well. Um, I saw a couple other questions here that I do want to get to real quick is the Susan asked, do you have a form to invoice clients for service fees? And yes. So what you would do is um, you would create a new form, kind of like what we just did. Um, but then you can create it as a credit card authorization. So to create credit card authorization, um, you can create a form like you normally would. Um, but then when you're choosing your uh, response options, there's a card authorization and um, you can choose that. And then that way, when you send this form um, to your client, you can, you can specify, you know, what is this for? It's for service fees. What is the authorization or authorization, you know, the price, all that good stuff um, before you send it off to them. So you can do it that way. And then you have um, that card information in their contact profile to access and again, on that too, I would recommend going to the getting started guide in there. Um, and I can just put this in the chat too. Scott might've already done that, but I'm just going to put it in here. Um, and you can see that as well there. Um, and then there was another question. Um, and I saw this one came through when I was talking about it is the library. Um, if you do add uh, or you pull from your library and you edit 
that information, it doesn't overwrite what's in your library. Um, you could, if you want to, so if you want to overwrite it, you can, but it doesn't do it automatically. So that's a great thing. So that way, that's why we always say, if you want to put stuff in there, just keep it generic. And then um, that way, when you pull it in, you can then add, you know, the pricing, confirmation numbers, whatever it might be um, in there. So all that good stuff. Now I'm going to jump in, cut off the questions when we need to, because we're, we are running over on time. We want to be sensitive to everyone's schedules, but uh, it we've received tons and tons of questions. So thank you everyone yeah. just for jumping into the webinar and wanting to learn more about Travify. We love it. We love helping you. We apologize if we did not get to your question. I've been trying to answer them as fast as I can <laughs> on this end. So I apologize. I'm not fast enough. In the chat, I'm going to post uh, some important links. Uh, firstly, if you are new to Travify, you're not a current customer, not a current user, or maybe you just started your free trial or something like that, but you're not a current customer, I'm including a link where you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo with our sales team to walk you through any parts of Travify, answer any of your questions, things like that. But then the second link, if you are a current user, a current customer, our support team would love to schedule a one-on-one -on -one training session with you. And you guys, uh, whether it's the demo or the training session, you can pick any day, any time and schedule that. And those are one-on-one -on -one and they're free. They're complimentary. Uh, so you can schedule them as much as you need. But I apologize if we didn't get to your questions. So use those if that's helpful to get any of those deeper questions answered that we didn't have time to get to. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, definitely reach out to us. Um, and remember about those, uh, yeah, the demos trainings, they're super great. And again, we have a ton of video content um, and we record all of our webinars like the one today and we put it on our YouTube channel. So definitely check those out um, as well. But before we go though, I need to grab my hat again. So let me grab that really quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> must have it. It's a must have. I accidentally threw it too far. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Got to get it. The little, the little pom pom balls, my, my sunglasses. Just want to thank everybody yeah. <laughs> once again for joining us. This is like my favorite webinar ever. I am this ready to fun. go to an all inclusive. Yes. This was fun. It wouldn't have been the same without the hat with the fuzzy no, ball things. So. Not at all. It really made Loving it. Loving it. You know? <laughs> so but I loved it. We don't have outro music. So I apologize, everyone. No. You just got to imagine that. Imagine we'll, we'll work on that for next time. I'll bring like a little, uh, some some drums, a little guitar or something next time. Some, some steel kettle drums. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It'll be good. Yep. But thank you so much again, everybody. We, yep. we hope you enjoy your day and enjoy the beach, your next vacation. Yep. Hope you enjoy it. Love it. <laughs> See you everyone. See ya.